What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're going to be rocking the M4MW2 Assault Rifle. Somehow, I had to double check, but somehow, we have yet to use this on the channel outside of the aftermarket part or conversion kit that came out for it. So, today we absolutely have to give this thing a run in our progression style, and we are going to do our best to make it as fun as possible, because the last video I did, we used the Riveter, we tried an empty backpack run, and it was absolutely miserable. Hopefully those of you that watched enjoyed it. It seemed like some people did and maybe a few people didn't. But overall, it was still fun to do, even though I put myself through the torture chamber in order to kind of get that video. So today, a little bit of a change of pace. We're going to be rocking this and I'm expecting it to be fairly decent. I do need to pop my perks and stuff, but otherwise we just need to head over to our first contract. We'll knock out one in, in tier one here. We'll move into tier two and we'll just upgrade as we feel it's necessary. I don't, um, I'm not really too worried about my ammo here so let's just go ahead and pack punch to level one well first up we got a mangler it's actually crazy to think that tomorrow we're getting our final aftermarket part for mw3 and we've almost been playing this mode for a year mwz has been a ton of fun i know i've really enjoyed it i know a ton of you have really enjoyed it i'm looking forward to black ops 6 zombies though of course and just the new content the one thing i will say about this mode is i'm kind of disappointed in the fact that they didn't take more advantage of what they had because it is an open world experience. I think everything that they did offer, I really did enjoy. The Dark Ethers were a cool change of pace. Having the Red Worm, the story missions, just an open world zombies experience. It is a little similar to DMZ. So for me, if they'd removed the mercenaries altogether, I honestly wouldn't have, I wouldn't have cared that much. And I think it would have been a better experience. They could have done something different where instead of it being mercenaries, they could have had soldier zombies or something like that, made them a little stronger maybe made like a special elite for the the strongholds and things like that, that they could have kind of redesigned the way that they, they had the open world experience, basically. I don't think the warlords were a hit. I don't think the mercs were a hit. I don't think many of you, if any of you loved that part of this experience. So for me, I think they did a lot of things right. The one thing that they kind of missed on was just adding more content to the game and taking full advantage of everybody's enjoyment of this experience that was kind of a one-off it was something you know that we weren't really expecting and it was kind of an extra it was kind of like an extra thing for for Treyarch to do so they did a great job with it for what they did I just kind of wish it had more well, lucky me we got another mangler and another thing I do want to point out is although I don't really enjoy the 24 player experience the social aspect of the game I know a lot of other people do and I think it was a really cool change of pace for the zombies experience just being able to have that many players on the map I know that wasn't something we had an outbreak it was still pretty limited. You could even play solo, which I'm going to say again, I would prefer. But I do think it was a nice, you know, experiment for them to try out. Maybe in the future, they'll they'll do something again with a, a large player base. But I anticipate if they do, hopefully they just remember all the solo people would like to have their own instance. And maybe they allow us to have the best of both worlds. All right, we are not doing a ton of damage. But you know what I just actually realized when it comes to the M4? Is it has an insane ammo reserve. Like, why... They've, they've fixed so many different ammo reserves, made so many things so limited. But a weapon like this, it's funny its face is all purple because of my blueprint. But a weapon like this just has insane amount of ammo. You can hold almost a thousand rounds total. Actually, I guess it's 900 plus a thousand. It would be like a thousand twenty. So, let's say 900 plus 120. That's an insane reserve. Come on. I mean, this isn't that hard. Luckily, it's a Mangler it does almost nothing. Absolutely the easiest elite to fight in the game. Oh, nice. PhD, a rare tool. You guys want to see me pop a rare tool? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and rock the rare tool. Pack one rare. All right, a little change of pace here. We got ourselves a Mimic. Another thing, too, if you guys are curious when the streams are coming back, it's absolutely going to be for Black Ops 6. I kind of wanted to, you know, focus up chill a little bit outside of the videos before the new game comes out because we're going to be playing a lot. Got to grind out the brand new camo. We're going to be trying all the different types of weapons. We're going to be hunting for Easter eggs. You guys can expect me to be doing Easter egg guides. I don't care how many people upload Easter egg guides. I'm going to do my my style of video. We're going to keep doing those. We're going to pump out guides for each of the maps and stuff like that and the obviously the side Easter eggs that are included. That way you guys can get all your knowledge on how to do all that stuff in the round base mode outside of that we're going to be doing you know our best rounds with individual weapons we're going to try to find out what the worst weapons are the best weapons might even make a spreadsheet i was considering doing this since we're going to have the damage values and be able to see them on screen 
It'd be very easy to actually build a spreadsheet of all of the weapons and their entire damage profile. So how much they even do a pack one, no tool, pack one green, blue, you guys get kind of where I'm going with that. That way I'd have a full table, full spreadsheet with all the damage numbers. We would know for sure if there were buffs and nerfs, because I know there's a lot of misconception out there on the YouTube platform where people say things got secretly buffed or they're secretly overpowered now because of some change that happened that never actually happened. So that will solve all of those issues. We won't have to worry about any of that. There will be no misconception because we can go and test it for ourselves and see the damage numbers. Did it change? Did it not? And we can overall keep up with the best to worst weapons. And I could even share it with the community if that's something you guys would be interested in. So let me know down in the comment section below if that's something you guys would like to see. I'm absolutely considering making one of those for Black Ops 6 Zombies. All right, well, it's time to have some fun. At least we got ourselves a Disciple. We're going to do pack one purple now. Time has come. And we got our Disciple, which is what we usually like to challenge before we go pack punch level two anyway. So that works out. Things are going smooth with the M4. I mean, it does help a ton that I was using such a terrible weapon in our last video. So this thing feels great. And again, as always, if you guys would like to try the loadout I'm rocking in today's video, make sure you check the pinned comment down below, or I'm always sure to share the attachments for easy access. And also keep in mind, you don't have to use my loadouts if you don't agree with them. The thing about zombies is it very rarely matters a ton what you use and don't use, as long as you're comfortable with it, honestly. Like, there's not a ton of builds that are going to make or break your damage output. Come on. If, if it's a bad weapon, it's going to be a bad weapon, no matter what you put on it. I had a cryo freeze. Rewards weren't great here. Pack one purple has been going good. Okay, we pretty much have full ammo. Let's see if we can take on a mega bomb pack one purple. Or if it's going to be just the stupidest thing I've ever chosen to do. Let's go, let's go. We'll push the limits a little bit. The M4 is actually good. We knew it was going to be good. We knew we were going to struggle significantly less. Let's just go ahead and have some fun with it, right? Like I said, make it fun. All right, we're getting a bit of zombies here. Try to get rid of these guys as quickly as we can. For pack one purple. I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, I didn't want that before I reloaded, but that's okay. Get rid of the Hellhound. We got plates. It's okay. We are going to do our best here. And we actually have a few more plates on the ground, so I can actually get some back. Hey, you hit me from way too far away. I don't like that. I wonder if the Mega Abomination has rabies. I bet the Hellhounds do. You know, they come from hell. You never know. All right, we're going to go ahead and keep shooting. Blew up the first face. Go ahead and can we pick up some of these plates? Or are we just, is our guy broken? Yes, yeah, get close enough to this. Beautiful. Now, you're not this close as I would like you to be. I don't know what you're doing, but you're not helping me out here, Mega. You're being a mega pain in the butt. Let's go. There we go. That's beautiful. Now, I'll just get you to laser. Jump down, jump up. Does that work? Yes, it does. Works for you, works for me dodge most of the damage and we can actually see what happens here another benefit to having so many bullets in our gun perfect doing the same exact thing repeat the process absolutely beautiful trying to make the best out of a not so upgraded weapon right and obviously it's a choice you could upgrade way more than i am right now and do this exact same thing okay reload my gun go ahead and plate up once or twice lasers are looking beautiful even if they hit me Back up just a little bit, avoid getting hit. Okay, I see you. I would be getting angry too if I was getting shot in my face. And that's two faces down. This is actually not going that bad. I don't know if I picked up any extra ammo so far, but we've only used not even, uh, about half, maybe a little less than half. And we're doing all right here. This is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Can we get through this? Can we do this? That's the real question. Let's find out on the next episode of Earl's Progression Videos. Hey, I would like you to help me out here. We're going to finish you off sometime soon, whether you like it or not. It's up to you on whether or not you laser and get the process over faster, or if you go through the torture chamber. Hey, where'd that zombie come from? And a surprise. Oh, hey, we want those decoys back. Thank you. Oh, more, more zombies coming out of the woodworks. We should be able to get this done pretty soon here. I mean, it's taken us a lot of bullets, but honestly, it hasn't been that bad of a fight. I feel like I've had longer fights with pack three legendaries with certain weapons. If you guys can think of a weapon that's been worse than this is currently, pack three legendary, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be curious to see which ones you guys come up with.
I definitely think the Riveter might be one of those weapons. But some people argue that my attachments were just terrible or something like that, you know? But you never know. Let's go ahead and go like this. And that's the end of that guy. We were able to pull it off. Not too bad. A little bit of fun. I wonder if anyone's in Tier 3. There are people in Tier 3, so I'm assuming the odds of a triangle being available are pretty low. I'll throw my decoy. Let's see if there's a perks we don't have. There's a few. I'm going to double check and see if this thing is here or not. I am very curious. I feel like it's not going to be, but oh, maybe it is. It is going to be. Okay, so because it is here, we're going to do this thing that I was thinking about doing, and we're going to do a pack one purple for this triangle, and I'm probably going to regret it. And I'm probably going to get... Oh, my God. That's a lot of hellhounds. Probably going to regret it, but we're going to give it a shot. Hey, how many hellhounds I got to take down here? I'm not I'm not down with the endless hellhounds. Not my favorite enemy to come across. They just keep biting me in the butt when I take them down, so... Not my favorite, like I said. But let's see what we can do here. We're still pack one purple. It's kind of silly, I know. And some people might be mad that I don't make it to legendary pack three faster, but hey, I'm just having fun trying to do what we can with this weapon. Like I said, upgrade as we feel necessary. Haven't felt necessary yet. Feels like it could be something you could do. It's an option. You could definitely go with. Necessary, don't know if I agree with that yet. We're actually somehow able to get through this stuff. I wish more plates were dropping. I'm a little worried about that part, but... Outside of that, not too scared. I'm here in a mangler, I think. I'll go ahead and lay down just in case it blasts me. Is it coming up? I don't actually know where it is right now. I don't know at all. Did somebody drop me a plate? That'd be great. So far, we're doing pretty good, though. Going smoother than I anticipated. We have all the perks, so that's a plus. We even have tombstone in case we die and need to come back and grab... The nothing that we have, pretty much. I guess we'd have a legendary tool if we died here. A pack punch level 2 crystal. What are we going to get for free out of this, though? Pack punch level 3 would be cool for free. Even though we haven't even gone to pack punch level 2 yet. Oh, I'm getting hit in the back. Oh, I got really lucky there, actually. I'm getting double manglered, see? I just had to wait. Oh, we made it through it. Never mind. We actually clutched up. The amount of ammo you get with this just makes things way easier. All right, epic tool and a pack three crystal. That's actually insane. So we've done pretty much everything up into the high threat zone and completed a triangle without upgrading past pack one purple. I would say that's pretty successful. Thankfully, they fixed the bugs. So we're gonna be able to start this thing immediately. No, we're not. Oh God, this is bad. Throw this down. Ow, ow, everything hurts. Okay, at least I got some plates. All right, we're still pack one purple. I'm probably going to upgrade to pack punch level 2, but I wonder if we can do this contract without upgrading. I'm really asking for it for the simple fact that I don't have any decoys available. Yep, and I'm getting hit a lot. I have a backup self. I'll risk it for the biscuit. We'll just do what we can do. At least I have a lot of ammo. Elemental Pop's trying to help me out. Is that lag? What the hell just happened right there? Was I just stuck on something? That felt really weird and glitchy. Alright. Obviously, we still have to shoot. I mean, this thing's definitely still better than the Riveter, even in its current state. Ooh, I got a plate. I'm going to at least only plate once, just in case I don't want to burn through all of... Oh, oh, oh. I didn't realize you guys were coming from all angles. Throwing me off. I'm trying to do my best here. Pack one purple. Taking on the high threat zone. Not something we usually do. Honestly, that's not something I think I've ever done. I'm not sure. Not for, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm not going to say I did if I haven't, so. Hey. Hey. See, this is the stuff I don't love. Hey. 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 What the hell? Yo. OD. That's over. That's too much. Hell. Hey. Super zombie. Hellhound. All right. Come on now. It's double disciple. I can't even get away. All right. We're, we're going to. We're clutching up. I don't care. I may not be able to get through these guys or all of these guys or whatever. Hey. Dude, how am I getting hit so often? Dude, it's the Hellhound. It's like glued to my butt. Get out of here. Bro, these guys got to stop. I'm throwing this down. Come on. Everybody. Everybody's got to go. And somehow the Disciple made it through that. That doesn't make any sense. He just stayed on the outside. I can't even... My, how am I not hitting it? Looks like I'm shooting at where it's stupid hand is. I don't know what the hell just happened over there. Let's go. 
What is happening? Hit its hand. Bro, what? Is, is it just not... Am I not able to break the hand? Maybe that's what it is. Oh, I finally did. This is an insane fight. Oh, we're breaking it again. Just keep hitting headshots. Let's go. That was ridiculous. I didn't think we were going to be able to do that. I mean, we've we've done on way too much for pack one purple. I at least need to go pack a bunch level two. We'll continue moving forward. Having a blast. Okay, we got real lucky here. Let's see how this goes. We got ourselves the Mega Abomination. Is someone already fighting my Mega Bomb? Oh, there's a dude over here fighting my Mega Bomb. He has a Mega Bomb. What is happening here? This is not what I was anticipating. Why the heck is our one contract in that? Yo, fight your own, bro. Fight your own. Oh, get that insta-kill. That's the way. Get it, bro. He's just gonna kill my contract. This is the worst luck of all time. I, I finally get a Mega Abomination, and it's it's literally on top of somebody else's. And it kills mine when he and his dies. That's a nice feature I didn't know about. All right, cool. W. All right, we actually got a Disciple this time, so this is going to be kind of interesting. I'm going to do my usual tactic in this area, climbing up on this building, going across. We are only packed two purple, too, so if we really need to, I can go pack a bunch level three since we have the crystal. We have our legendary tool if we want to use that. First step, though, is, as always, clear the area. Yeah, it's actually kind of insane. I was battling that guy for a contract for a minute there. Finally get contracts in different area than he was in. There's another one popped up, and both of our contracts ended up being in the exact same spot, the exact same contract. Kind of insane how that works sometimes, right? I have everything I was trying to do to avoid that guy, and we still ended up stuck. Stuck fighting the same thing. Alright, well, this would be interesting to see if we can do, because... These, dude, these zombies do not end. Alright, I can break his hand now. I'm glued to this dude. Can we get through this? Thank you. All right, let me focus up on just you. See if we can actually do some damage. Reload before you start doing the same thing. Can we get through it quick enough? Maybe. I don't know if he's healing or not. Or I guess it's if they are healing. I don't know if it's a he or she or anything else. Come on. No, I wasn't trying to... F How did I fall through? I must have moved subtly. Dang stick drift. I got to get back up there. No way I'm doing this without going up there again. Let's go. He's gonna chase me around. Where'd it go? Go find some more zombies? Yo, we're trying to do something here, pal. All right, I got some more ammo, and that's a W. Oh, tons of plates. That's also a W. Much better shape than I thought we were in. All right, back up here. Oh, wait till the hellhounds bite. I can't see. Yeah, my controller's moving forward on us. Stop moving. Stop. Stop moving on its own. Okay. Yep, stop moving, please. Stop moving on your own. It's actually getting... What is hitting me? It's actually getting frustrating that it's moving on its own because trying to just focus on this one spot is making it a little bit harder. Okay, reload. I don't think we can do this. Like, we... Maybe? Every time I start doing damage, though, 10 zombies show up and I have to focus on the zombies and... Nope, nope. Gotta reload. Biggest nightmare. We are actually not doing anything. Can I? Can you stop leeching off me for a second here? Like you've been doing that more consistent than normal. Stop, please. No, this is impossible. Like, it's actually impossible. I mean, if I could get it to stop hitting me for two seconds, you cannot. Maybe, but reload. Hurry. I have to hit every bullet or I'm not going to be able to do it. Come on! We're actually taking some of its health away. It moved away. Oh, this is my chance. I gotta do as much damage as possible in as little time as possible. Get that hellhound out of here. This has been a battle. Oh, I'm going to have to get ammo in a second too. Which is just down below me. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh, and you do it again. Look at me. Look at me. All right, I'm throwing this down. Okay, I don't think it did much for anything, but at least I got my ammo. And now we can get back up there. I'll try this for another minute, and then we'll probably pack a bunch. But I think if we get the right strategy going, like I could try to ignore 
could try to ignore uh, the leeching ability by just getting out of the way every time, but he just teleported up here. Look at that. Every bullet hit. It's just getting hit by zombies still. Reload. Reload. How are there so many of you still? Slow down. Oh my god, they just don't stop coming up here. Alright, now we can start damaging them again. Go ahead and reload before we get down to one. Damage a little bit. Focus on the hand. Only the hand. Hit every bullet. Like, I can't even tell if it's hand, if it's actual things going down. It's gonna give me. Reload, hurry. Hitting every bullet. I can't tell if we're making a big dent in it or not, but I'm gonna reload now. Timing the reload is perfect. Like, it, I, I think it literally heals faster than I can damage it. It's, it's actually crazy. Yeah, there's no way. Come on, break its hand! Like, yeah, we're 100% pack a punch into level 3. This is so stupid. Why make it so hard to break through the hand? And now we're gonna do just fine. Now it doesn't even leech. What is going on here? I hate I hate disciples for this exact reason. It's fine though. We needed a reason to upgrade, right? We did everything up to this point pretty much without having an upgrade. I wish we could have fought the mega bomb though, because that would have been a way to do it without having an upgrade. These things are the tankiest thing ever. Even after we pack a punched, it's just eaten. Come on, bro. Come back up here. Or just stay in one place, whatever it is. We're gonna make our way through this. One way or another. You can try leeching all you want. Now I can actually take you down in a reasonable amount of time, so you don't stand much of a chance. And you're out of here. Finally, the longest battle of all time. And we got a freaking pack one crystal. Game loves to see me win for sure. But lucky us, we got a mega abomination. This is probably gonna be the last thing we're gonna be able to accomplish, so I probably would just pop... Go ahead and pop the, uh... A legendary tool. We had a lot of fun, I think, in this run, actually pushing the limits of this weapon just to see what we could get accomplished. Fortunately, we hit a wall with that Disciple. There's just no doubt about it. We absolutely hit a wall with that Disciple. Come on, zombies. Gotta get rid of some of these zombs. Oh my god, there's... I hate that they come from both sides. Hey, how am I getting hit by that laser at the same time? That's like going through everything. Not a fan of that. How the hell is that possible? Was not anticipated. Yeah, it's gonna go right through the top. Nope, not down with that. Land down. All your zombie buddies here. You guys can't triple attack me. It's not cool. All right, now we're gonna focus up on you. Are, those, are they falling down over there? What are they doing? Holy smokes, can I get a break? There we go, face is already busted. Get that guy over there. How did you get up here without me seeing you? And we got a bonus point. Let's go. Played up again. Another face is gone. We're absolutely smashing this mega bomb. And hey, this has been a lot of fun. I mean, we really did try to push it to the limit with this weapon. There's not many weapons. I've tried as much as we did pack one purple. I mean, I've never really tested pack two purple against the disciple, especially not for that long before we gave up, of course, but it was still a lot of fun. This was a lot more chill than usual. My controller is wigging out. It, it just keeps going forward no matter what. All right, we got that and that. I guess I'll hold on to those just in case I want them for a future run. But I think the only thing left for me to do in this run is head over to the Xville. It was a ton of fun, again, to push it to the limits. I'm actually kind of surprised by what we were able to accomplish pack one purple. And let me know down in the comment section below if you are just as surprised as I was by the outcome of what we were able to do. We made it over to the Xville successfully. Honestly, I had no doubt in my mind that this was going to be a smooth run, but I am still impressed by the weapon overall. I'm actually still surprised that it took me this long to actually cover this weapon. Here we are in Season 6, almost at the end of MWZ, and we're finally using it. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace!